chocolate lovers welcome to chocolate tv episode 67 and this uh, we continue to uh, uh, taste chocolate stella from switzerland uh, this time there is the costa rica 75 percent cocoa count and the tanzania 80 percent cocoa uh, without further ado just let's break open the package and start Examine it and smell it and taste it. The chocolate. Uh, Coke is used for. Da, da, da. Doesn't say, but what kind of bean? But Costa Rica. I'd say that could be a blend between Criollo and Trinitario. Let's open up the package. Look at the color, uh, fairly dark brown with uh, yeah. I'd say blackish gray uh, nuances. Let's break off a piece. Nicely molded, uh, good crystal structure in the chocolate when you break it off. And uh, let's see what does it smell. Dark cocoa, dry cocoa. A little bit, little bit of hint of, of uh, black pepper. See the box, wood. Yes, this is dark cocoa, seventy-five percent cocoa. There's a a pepper nuance. And maybe, I'm not sure, my mind could play me some tricks, maybe there's some, there's some slight acid on that, this one. Citrusy feely, acid kind of thingy, smelly smelly. Okay, let's taste this one. First off, bitter, dark, chocolate, bitter and tart, chalky, dry, coffee, dirt, Back and a uh, hair more acidic feel to it, but not much. We're talking tobacco, leather, dry cocoa, chocolate all the way, but bitter chocolate, long aftertaste of bitter. Dry chocolate mixed with chalk. Nice chocolate. Seven points out of ten. No question about it. Let's move on to the Tanzania. 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 Well, that's an African land. Country. Let's open up this. 80% <clears throat> cocoa. Is there a difference in color? Actually, the Costa Rican one is darker in, in my eyes. What I can see, the Costa Rican chocolate is darker and it's 75%. This is 80%. This is a dark brown, uh, reddish earth tone to it. Uh, quite dark, but actually not as dark as the, the Costa Rican one. Break off a piece. Good structure in the break. Nice mold, shiny. Nice. Let's smell. 
This has a, a different note. Uh, First off, uh, yes, there is some uh, cedar box wood, dark chocolate character, but it's underneath a more yellow fruit, citrusy, grapey nuance. Grapefruit, lemon, also some some kind of spice, I can't pinpoint it. And a slight sugary lime feel, at, way at the back. But there's, yes, dark chocolate, dry chocolate. Let's taste this one then. Pucker dry at the same time as it has a lot of acid, a lot of citrus, and there's something else. It's not it's not lemon. It's some other fruit. It's like you squashed lemon and lime and maybe some tangerine and pour it on a banana and you eat the banana with dark chocolate. And the end is even, it's dry all the time. It's very strange. It's Banana, which is a full flavor, and the citrus with an acid flavor, and then you got the chocolate flavor, which is very, very dry. Very, very dry. So, this is dry chocolate tasting like a lemon lime dipped banana and chocolate. Does it make sense? No, it doesn't, but it's really, really, really intriguing and really nice. <coughs> a little bit. Short on the finish uh, with a acidic snap at the end. Uh, yeah, not bad. Uh, quite more intriguing than the Costa Rican one, which was chocolate, dark. Uh, this is chocolate and other things. So therefore I give it this one an 8. Uh, very good chocolate. Uh, absolutely worth trying, buying, whatever. Uh, so next week I'll see you again and i probably continue with the uh, short... Collapse Stella from Switzerland. I think we have two more bars to try. Bye.